In today's makeup lesson, we are talking about invisible liner and the three areas that you can apply it and how to make it work for you. But first, if you are new here to the Makeup Chair channel and you enjoy tutorials, then I might suggest hitting the subscribe button below. It's totally free. And if you're already subscribed, then thank you and welcome back. Now let's get started with today's lesson. So there are three key areas that you can apply liner. First up, we have the lash line. And I think most of us are aware that you can apply liner to the lash line. However, invisible liner is much thinner and mostly focuses on the roots of the lashes from above. And this works great with our second area that we can apply liner, which is from below the lashes. And this is referred to as tight lining. Tight lining actually has a very interesting history. Originally, the term was associated with the stocking shortage in World War II where women would paint a line down the back of their leg to give the appearance that they were wearing stockings or tights. It's actually a very interesting topic, but maybe for another day. The term is now mostly associated with applying a liner to the inner rim of the eye, or sometimes referred to as the waterline, and also in between the upper lashes. The third area that you can apply liner is on the lower waterline or the lower rim of the eye. So those are our three areas to apply liner. So let's go into detail on how to apply it and how it can change up the look and work with your eye shape as well. So let's start with tight lining. So this is applying liner to the upper part of the waterline or the upper rim in between the lashes. And I'm actually gonna be using a pencil. Some people like to use gels, it's totally up to you. And this pencil is actually black brown, so it's equal parts black and brown. You don't always have to use just black. Sometimes a black brown, a cooler black, a warmer black is gonna work best for you. So have a look at your skin tone, your hair color, and find out the shade that works best. For me, it's black brown, it's softer, it's not as harsh, and it kind of brings out my eye color a little bit more. Now some people like to lift their eye in order to expose this area and apply the liner. For me, however, what I like to do is hold a mirror in front of me, keep my eye really high and open, and this exposes the rim of my upper eye. I can then place the pencil in there and run it along. Now, if you have sensitive eyes, you might want to lift it. And if you're doing that, I might recommend doing the liner first before you apply any eyeshadows. That way you're not gonna end up smudging as you lift the eye. Now this can feel a little strange and it can tickle a little bit. The best thing to do is to keep your pupil far away from where you're applying it. So if you're applying it to the inner part, you wanna look outwards, then move your mirror to do the outer part, making sure you're always looking in the opposite direction, and that way it isn't as sensitive and isn't as ticklish. Once you kind of become a pro at this, you can pretty much just close your eyes around the liner and just run it along. Bear in mind, you're always working at a slight angle. So we're not coming at the eye straight on, like we're gonna poke ourselves in the eye. We're tilting it upwards. And this is just gonna make sure that we're not touching the eye at all. We're only coating right at the base of the lashes. So make sure you're keeping that nice, smooth angle. And you can actually use this technique to even out your eyes or work with your eye shape. So see here, we have wide set eyes. So we wanna bring these closer together to add some balance. So what we can do is start the liner a little short on the outer edge and bring it all the way in. This will bring the eyes closer together. It also creates a much more smoky kind of sultry look as well. And then for close set eyes, we wanna pull the eyes apart. So we're gonna focus from the pupil outwards to draw the eyes outwards. We don't wanna apply the liner all the way in because it's gonna draw the eyes closer together. So start on the outer edge and work outwards. It's actually one thing I love about invisible liner is that you can use it to make very small adjustments that can make such a big difference. Now, if you have watery eyes, then I would recommend doing the tight lining first so that if you start to kind of tear up, you're not gonna ruin your eye makeup. So I'm gonna skip the lower waterline for a minute and we're gonna move on to doing the roots of the lashes above. So this is basically applying liner to the lash line, but kind of sweeping it in between the lashes as well. So this is what I refer to as invisible liner. The motion that we're doing with invisible liner is kind of pushing it in to the roots of the lashes. So we're applying a little bit and then bringing the brush down and this is sweeping it in between the lashes. Again, we're gonna take our mirror, we're going to place it in front of us. We're gonna take our liner, whatever liner that you like to use. And I like to place my pinky on my cheek. This is just gonna give me a lot more support as I apply. Keep your eyes nice and steady before you start applying it or this can end up happening. Oops. Yeah, we're just gonna erase that. <laughs> 
the motion that we're doing with invisible liner is kind of pushing it into the roots of the lashes. So we're applying a little bit and then bringing the brush down. And this is sweeping it in between the lashes. So instead of doing a straight line all the way across, we're kind of pushing it downwards. Now I realized actually as I was doing this that my liner is really dry and I didn't have a chance to go and get another one. But any sort of gel liner or even a liquid liner will work great for this, provided that you are just working it downwards in between the lashes. You really shouldn't see it that much. It should just see as almost like an extension of your lash line. Doing little short strokes as we move across the lash line, following the natural shape of the eye. This is actually where you can work with uneven lids. So if you have more lid space on one side than the other, you can use this liner to adjust how your eyes look. So maybe if you have more space on one side, you can bring this a little higher to balance out with the other eye. Now, once you get to the outer edge of the eye, we're not winging it out. You can obviously follow this with a regular liner, but what I like to do is just keep it really close to those lashes and stop where the lashes stop on the outer edge of the eye. You can also take your brush and push it in between the lashes. This is another way to make it super invisible. So if you don't want to do a line, you just push it right between the lashes as well. And this works great with the tight lining that we've already done. And you should end up with something that looks like this. Now for the lower waterline, I'm just going to clean it up first of all. I don't want to have any of that black brown on that lower part, so I have a Q-tip and a little bit of sensitive eye makeup remover, and I'm just removing any of the residue that might have dropped down. I'm going to apply a nude pencil to the lower waterline. Again, make sure this works with your skin tone. Don't just go for white or brighter. Sometimes just a little bit of a clean look is all you need to do. Now you don't have to just use the same pencil the whole way across. For instance, for downturned eyes, kind of like mine, what I like to do is to apply a darker shade on the outer edge to lift this outer edge and then a lighter shade on the inner part. What this does is it creates the illusion that my eyes are a little bit more lifted on this outer corner, but still nice and bright. You also want to make adjustments with your lashes, but that is a story for another day. So I'm going to show you guys how I implement these techniques in order to create a makeup look. And we're going to do a comparison as we move along. So this is our first look. I'm then going to apply that black brown to the waterline above, so tight lining. Again, making sure you move your pupil out of the way so it's not too ticklish. And now we can compare the two. So as you can see, we just have that little bit more depth and darkness right at that lash line. It's very subtle, but it does make a difference. Moving on, I'm going to apply my invisible liner on the lash line, working my way across. And what I love doing here is actually applying like a brown or something above this. And what this does is it creates a lot more depth at the lash line. So we don't lose that depth of those lashes but it also adds a little bit more of a soft, smoky look. If you find that you always have a little bit of eyeshadow placed on your lashes, try applying the black. That way you don't have any gapping between your lash and you still keep that nice darkness. Now this is before mascara, so it's a little bit more noticeable. Once the mascara and the lashes go on, it's gonna be a little bit more invisible. Now for the lower waterline, again, I'm going to clean up my waterline before moving on to my two pencils. Starting off with the nude shade, which is going to go from the pupil inwards. This is going to brighten up this area for me. And I'm going to avoid the outer edge because this can drag my eyes slightly downwards. So I want to lift that by applying the darker shade. But first the nude from the inner corner to the middle. And then the black brown from the outer edge to the middle. And this just creates the illusion of a slightly lifted eye on the outer edge, but still a nice bright eye. So there you go. There's lots of ways that you can use invisible liner to subtly change up your look. For instance, if you're applying corner lashes, you can use it to blend it into your lashes. If you do have any questions about this, definitely let me know. If you have like a tricky eye shape and you don't quite know what to do, just leave a comment and I will try and get back to as many people as I can. As always, my friends, be kind to yourself, be kind to others. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and I would love for you guys to try out these different invisible liner looks. I'll see you in the next one.